Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10. Akrotiri. Akrotiri is one of the most likely candidates for the location of the lost island of Atlantis. According to the only source for the myth of Atlantis, the Athenian philosopher Plato, the Atlanteans lived somewhere beyond the pillars of Hercules. In antiquity, this was the Strait of Gibraltar. If what Plato said was true, this would put Atlantis somewhere between Europe and America, in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. However, historians believe the Minoan city of Akrotiri on the island of Santorini is the most likely location for Atlantis. Around 1600 BC, an eruption from a volcano and Santorini decimated the city. The eruption was so immense that tsunami waves spread across the Aegean Sea and destroyed Minoan cities on Crete. Surprisingly, this fits in almost perfectly with Plato's story of Atlantis. He claimed that the gods were upset with the Atlanteans and destroyed their civilization overnight with great calamity, leaving nothing but mud behind. If you think about it, that description sounds an awful lot like a tsunami. The most likely series of events here is that Akrotiri was destroyed, the island of Santorini was blanketed in ash, and the Minoan civilization vanished. About 1,000 years later, Plato recounted the tale of that tragic destruction in his writings regarding the myth of Atlantis. In other words, Atlantis was very real, but it was already a thousand years old when Plato was born. To him, the destruction of such a place would have been a mythical event. And so he thought up a story to match the legends. Number 9. Donana National Park Supposedly, Atlantis had 10,000 chariots at their disposal, an extremely powerful army, and highly advanced technology. As reported by Plato, they had elephants, bulls, and complex canals to help with sewage and water management. He described what was clearly a flourishing society. According to a group of archaeologists from the UK, Plato was talking about a society on the Atlantic coast of Spain. Bruce Blackburn, CEO of the company Merlin Burroughs and his team, used data from commercial satellites to locate a place in Spain's Donana National Park that they believe was the original city of Atlantis. Surprisingly, the location they found fits well with Plato's description. It's beyond the Pillars of Hercules and could be mistaken for a large island. The Spanish coast, of course, isn't an island, but some people may have thought so. Within the national park, the team found a lot of mysterious remains. They uncovered circles that could have been the bases of large towers and discovered the ruins of what appear to be temples. Among the rubble, they also found the crumbling remnants of a long seawall that was damaged by what may have been a tsunami. The evidence found here appears to show that an ancient civilization once lived in the national park. Blackburn even claims his team found concrete that was 12,000 years old. This was a really bold claim, especially since the Romans are credited with the invention of concrete 2,600 years ago. Blackburn refused to explain how his laboratory dated the mixture of sand and stone. What do you think? Could this be the lost city of Atlantis? Let me know in the comments below! Number 8. Iram of the Pillars Iram is thought to be the Arabian version of the lost city of Atlantis. The Quran describes Iram as a great city of lofty buildings populated by a group known as the Ad. This city was kind of like Sodom or Gomorrah in the Bible. The people of Iram turned away from Allah and led wicked lives full of sin. And for that, Iram was severely punished. A sandstorm was sent against them to envelop their city for seven nights and eight days. At the end of the final day, Iram was completely swallowed by the desert sands, and everyone inside its walls perished. It was just like how God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah in the Bible, and exactly like how Atlantis was destroyed by the Greek gods in Plato's narrative. Cities like Iram and Atlantis are most likely cautionary tales. The whole point behind the story of Iram is that if you don't obey Allah, he will destroy you. The moral of the story of Atlantis is that the gods frown on hubris, and any society that shies away from their creators will be destroyed. But did either of these cities truly exist? And could Iram be the same city as Atlantis? In the 1990s, amateur archaeologist Nicholas Clapp found the city of Ubar lost underneath the sand of Arabia. The whole city had been swallowed by shifting sands, and almost nothing was left of it. The claim was quickly made that Ubar was really Iram, the legendary city from the Quran. 
There's never been any way to definitively prove this, but it does appear plausible. There's even a chance that Ubar, or Iram, is the origin behind the legend of Atlantis. Number 7. Malta Malta is one of the top possibilities for the true island of Atlantis. Alongside Santorini and Greece, it's one of the only contenders that really matches the description given by Plato. The main evidence is that Malta is an island in the Mediterranean. It's also home to some of the oldest buildings found anywhere in the world. There are 35 megalithic temples scattered across Malta that are older than both the pyramids and Stonehenge. These mysterious buildings were constructed by an unknown race of people with highly advanced knowledge of astronomy. They weren't technically temples, but more like prehistoric observatories. Even though they have been studied by modern scientists, we still don't know why the megalithic temples were built, or who was behind their construction. But according to researchers, it very well could have been the Atlanteans. Another interesting fact about Malta is that the island was once much larger than it is now. Greek researcher Al Nika says the archaeological site of Gabel Gol Bahar, located just off the coast of Malta, may hold the ruins of Atlantis on the seabed. Because the island was flooded, much of what was once above ground is now completely submerged. There is a possibility coastal settlements belonging to Atlantis were wiped out thousands of years ago and have never been found. Number 6. Underwater Ruins Thousands of ruins from various cultures over the centuries have been discovered off the coast of southern Spain. There are crumbling stone walls and the remnants of structures left behind by everyone from the Romans to the Greeks. But in 2011, scientists allegedly found evidence of a unique lost city. They believe that this city, buried amongst the rubble of destroyed Roman settlements, could be the legendary Atlantis itself. The mysterious ruins were discovered by a team of researchers headed by Professor Richard Freund from the University of Hartford. They used satellite images to look north of the city of Cadiz in the swampy marshland, and there they found evidence of a civilization that was destroyed by a tsunami. This is very close to where another team of researchers identified structures in 2018 within Donana National Park. It could be that the lost people of Atlantis dominated the whole southern region of Spain, and that some of their cities were swallowed and are now buried under the marshlands. It's possible that other civilizations may have been abandoned after the tsunami as well. Either way, there does appear to be something hidden under Spain's southern marshes, and it could be the bones of Atlantis. And now for number 5, but first, it's shout out time! I want to say a big thank you to Trevon Willie and Eric Mack for supporting this channel. If you are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and join the family! Number 5. Ice Free Antarctica Held within Istanbul's famous Topkapi Museum is an artifact called the Piri Race Map. It's an outline of the world that was created in 1513 using information from over 20 different maps of the Earth, including charts used by famous explorers like Christopher Columbus and Vasco da Gama. It was Turkish adventurer Admiral Piri Reis who drew the map two decades after Columbus stumbled upon North America. The strangest part about this map is that it shows Antarctica connected to South America, not as its own continent. There is even a picture of a snake on Antarctica, and it's completely devoid of ice. To make matters even stranger, Antarctica was drawn on this map over 300 years before it was officially discovered in 1820. Some have speculated that while drawing his own version of the world, Thierry Race came across a much older map. This supposed other map may have been drawn when Antarctica was not covered in ice. During that time, the continent may have been dominated by a mysterious civilization, possibly even the Atlanteans. Number 4. Yonaguni One of the most incredible discoveries in underwater history was made in the 1980s by a Japanese diver named Kihachiro Aratake. He was swimming in the waters off the coast of the remote Japanese island of Yonaguni and came across something unbelievable. He discovered a megalithic structure that looked like a pyramid, or an underwater Machu Picchu as he described it. This site is now known as the Yonaguni Monument, something that may have once been part of the lost city of Atlantis. It's been four decades since the monument was discovered and we still don't know what it is, or who built it. 
Some say it was constructed by aliens. Others claim it's just a natural rock formation. But nobody can agree. Is it archaeological or not? It's very hard to see. And Aratake has been dedicating his life to get people down there at least to look for artifacts. He is convinced it is an ancient monument and says it's massive. Over the years, he has found huge columns complete with surrounding roadways. It even boasts smooth walls that look like they were carved using advanced tools. The structure is only about 15 feet deep, meaning it could have easily been above water 10,000 years ago. The monument has been largely ignored by the scientific community and by the Japanese government. Yet amateur divers have surveyed what appear to be the sunken ruins of a large city with towering pyramids. Some believe this is the real Atlantis, hidden off the coast of Japan. But of course, that is far from Plato's homeland in the Mediterranean Sea. Number 3. Atlantis of the Sahara The lost city of Atlantis could be hiding in plain sight in an extremely unlikely place. There have been rumors circulating that the ancient city is not an island in the Atlantic Ocean or submerged in the Mediterranean Sea. Instead, it might be in Africa, in the country of Mauritania. Atlantis could be misidentified as a peculiar geological formation scientists call the Rychat structure, or the Eye of the Sahara. Officially, the Eye of the Sahara is nothing but an anomaly to scientists. The structure is said to be a geological dome that eroded over millions of years. The dome crumbled, exposing layers of sedimentary rock in the form of concentric rings. What we see today is the collapsed dome looking like a swirling eye in the middle of the barren desert. According to another theory, the eye was once the ringed city of Atlantis. Over 10,000 years ago, a huge city with towering walls and ramparts may have stood here. Instead of being an island in the ocean, Atlantis was an island in the desert. It's possible the whole city was erased by a flood, which wiped away every last trace of it, leaving behind only the circular depression where this city once stood. Number 2. Atlantis of the Azores Another proposed location for the ancient city of Atlantis is the Azores Islands near Portugal. Archaeologist Nuno Ribeiro with the Portuguese Association of Archaeologists Research says the Azores were made by human hands thousands of years ago. He says the islands we see now are only the mountaintops of the original landmass sticking out of the ocean. In truth, the Azores are a small group of islands about 900 miles from the coast of Portugal. And yes, the parts sticking out of the water are technically the tops of mountains. It was in the early 1900s that Pierre Termier, a French geologist, discussed in a lecture how the Azores were only recently submerged. He believed the Azores were originally much larger and sank suddenly beneath the surface. However, his theory is only partially true. The Azores are volcanic, and they do descend 3,300 feet to a plateau rather abruptly once underwater. If you were to drain the water from the ocean, these would be huge mountains rising from a flat piece of land. But scientists have done tests that prove the Azores have been submerged for many millions of years. A civilization could have been living on these vast mountaintops 10,000 years ago. It's also possible the sea level rose just enough to submerge the cities of the mysterious civilization living here. But there is no proof to definitively confirm whether it was Atlantis or another unknown empire. Number 1. Aztlan Aztlan is the mythical home of the Aztec people. In the legends of the Aztec, they reached central Mexico after abandoning their homeland Aztlan. It was described as a great and bountiful island where the Aztec lived in peace and harmony. It's an important part of Aztec myths, and that's exactly what makes it so hard to explain from a scientific point of view. Experts don't know if the Aztec really did come from a mythical homeland, or if the whole thing is a work of fiction. Some historians have argued that Aztlan was merely a name for northern Mexico, where the Aztec likely migrated from. Others believe it could have been a very real island somewhere in the Atlantic Ocean. If Aztlan was an island somewhere between Europe and North America, it could have been the lost island of Atlantis. The Aztec may have had a great society thriving on this mysterious island 10,000 years ago, only for a calamity to strike. The Aztec were forced into their boats and made to paddle until they wound up in North America. 
and from there they migrated to what is now Mexico City. However, this is all just speculation and no such island has been found. But Aslan is a real place in Aztec mythology that most likely has an origin in reality. After years of searching, the Atlanteans could have really been Aztec. Thanks for watching. Where do you think the real location of Atlantis could be? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye.